A few years ago, I maxed my Iron Man, but now I'm back. To obtain the best gear, complete combat achievements, and waste time filling out the collection log. Welcome to the Iron Man Endgame. In this week's episode, I'm finally returning to the Chambers of Zarek. I think the last time I was here was probably back in 2019 when I was going for the prayers. And I'm coming back starting with 195 raids completed. And as for the drops that I have currently, both prayers, Dex and Arcane, Ancestral Bottoms, and an Elder Maul. And trust me, by the end of this video, I will have so much more than that. Just you wait. Let's get the show on the road. Now at the beginning, I was doing this with a couple friends, and two of them were actually brand new to the content, they were completely learning. So it was a ton of fun with all the shenanigans. I mean, just look at this clip of my friend trying to do the crab room. Comedy gold. So you can imagine, it was the funnest nights of my life. But yeah, seeing as most of the team was learning, I mean, a lot of people were dying. I wasn't expecting to see a lot of purples, but we actually did get one fairly early. 14 in, my friend Astra ripped the band-aid and got an arcane prayer scroll. What a great entrance to the grind. And then a little bit later, I actually got a Lizardman Fang drop, which I was really looking forward to, because it finally put me over 5,000 in the bank, and that is what you need to put the Xerix Talisman in your house. So it's a permanent Xerix Talisman that you can use at any time, doesn't use charges. Unfortunately, I didn't get the 5k on the previous, like, original grind, which is a little unlucky. I definitely should have with how much KC I had. So it's amazing to finally have that great quality of life. It makes getting back to chambers just a little bit easier. Soon after that, Astra was not done with the arcane because he got a dexterous prayer scroll as well. This guy. Elite combat, Mudda diet. That was on, that was completely on accident. What? Purple. I'm going in. Going in. I'm going in. Dex. Fuck. Damn it. Uh, I mean, okay, checking the log. It's good that the dex is expensive as hell right now, though. 39 mil. I think most people are just doing other content than Chambers, you know? So, made it go up. Um, good bank value. At, at the end of the day, I think because like, I don't really care too much about collecting scrolls as much as other types of gear. Um, this would be a prime candidate for me to plop into my death coffer. Uh, so, we, we'll keep it for now. I mean, it's a cool duplicate. But, hey, that's the fifth purple on the account at 239. So, the items are looking a little bit better. Just, uh, I hope I don't go down the, the path of just scrolls, man. Really hope that that's not me. Oh, that's a good drop, dude. I am kind of glad I didn't get that. I already have that. Congrats, dude. It's FFA. You get 100 mil. <laughs> they, how much are they? Uh, 100. 108. Oh, my payday, bro. Oh, I ne dude, I was <laughs> focusing on your purple. I didn't even grab my rewards. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. After the bottoms, it took another 20 raids to see our next purple, which was my friend's first, Dragon Claws. For context, this is the same Yuthic boy. He just changed his name. Very good first purple, dude. On the flip side, though, only two raids later, the other friend got his first purple, which was a dense bulwark. A very sad day. And then the very next raid, I got a purple. Holy shit, that was such a bad raid. I got I got burned like 75 times. All right, here we go. Here we go. It, it better not be a scroll, man. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. That's such a good item. That's such a good item. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I have I have base. Oh, look at this. I, 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 I can't I don't even know what to click. Where is my mage gear? Look at him. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, that is so much better than the decks. Ho oh, ho, baby. We've gotten three purples today. I missed one of them because I was at my parents' house, but like this a team of four, we've gotten three purples today. Okay, enough, enough overreacting. I'm just so excited to have two pieces of ancestral. I can finally throw away the Aram's top. I don't have to use it ever again. Now I'm just even more motivated to keep raiding. What the f- No way. <laughs> 
I can't believe we got perfect ulm. That's sick. Don't gotta grind for that. Didn't even feel like we did that right. No way. No way I got another purple. Hold on. Hold on. Dude, two in one day. There's no way. What is it? Dragon Claws. Dragon fucking Claws. Bro, what is going on? I'm shaking. I sh what? This is my best day on RuneScape ever. Literally the best day I've ever had. 250 villain loot in like, I don't know. It's been like seven raids. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, I, I, am, I am like living the dream right now. Look at that. I just realized the entire clip, my client was off in Narnia. It wasn't centered. Damn it. But yeah, damn. Um, I, I was, when my friend recently got claws, I'm sure we have the, the clip. Um, deep down, I was a little bit jealous. It was his first purple, so I was really excited for him. But like deep down, I really wanted these things. But oh my God, I finally have them. Okay, you can't say finally. I'm I'm kind of spooned now. Let's look at the log. Um, what is happening right now? <laughs> I really should keep keep on raiding. I probably will start bringing these into the raids. I'd imagine. Probably a good idea. To no surprise, they actually are really good here, specifically for the Vasa crystals. You can absolutely nuke them with dragon claws. They're also really good at vanguards. From here, it was just drop city. Solomon gets a dex and an omelet in the same chest, which is insane. I'm pretty sure the pet is like 1 in 53 purples, mind you, so damn, we were losing it in the Discord call. Followed up to me getting an arcane into another arcane, so woo. I'll spare you the reaction. It was just me probably groaning or something. And at this point, we were passing 300 total raids completions, so... Well over 100 raids into the video already, and the drops just did not stop. Solomon ended up getting an ancestral robe top, then a twisted buckler. He was just getting unique after unique. It was insane. And my other friend, you know, coming off of his Din's Bulwark a little bit ago, he got an arcane prayer scroll, so <laughs> not the right scroll. You know, it's new, but definitely would rather have had a dex, I'm sure. At the end of our raid sessions, I would normally do my elite clues that I got during the day, this one actually turned out to be a Mimic. Got an additional 500 Blood Runes, so that's pretty good. Got a Master Clue that I had to promptly drop. Very cool. And then it happened. Red. Red. I have I have a Mega Rare. I have a Mega Rare. Good luck. Good luck. Please, Tebow. 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 I did it. I got a Tebow. There's no way. There's no way. I have a Tebow. I have a Twisted Bow. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> There's no way, dude. What the hell? No shot, man. So I I switched my uh, chamber's colors like uh, when we started this grind, um, to uh, red if it was a mega rare, right? And uh, I, I I I I set my expectations low because of the elder mall. I already had one from way back. I got it like 90 KC. I can go to bed and wake up. And have a twisted bow. I know this seems like a pretty tame reaction, but it's like it's like two in the morning. I don't want to wake up my roommate, and uh, I'm still kind of in disbelief. Like I, I don't, I don't even know what to say. I feel like I generally don't know what to say when I get drops, but like I really do not have any words for this. I've been dreaming of this item since the very beginning of this account. I made this back in 2018, and I've always wanted this item. With this one item. Everything changes. It makes so many other pieces of content quicker, more reliable. It's just an amazing item. It is the dream for everybody. I can't believe I have it. Also, rewatch the reaction and take a shot every single time I say the words Tebow, you will die. So yeah, with this item, uh, funnily enough, I mean, we just did the Bofa grind, but for all intents and purposes, we are retiring that gear set. There's really not too many situations where you would use that over the Twisted Bow. They exist, but 
I would say nine times out of ten. If you're going to range, you're probably going to use uh, the Twisted Bow. So goodbye, Crystal Armor. And hello, new best in slot ranged gear that I currently have. Look at that. What an absolute monstrosity. It is painfully clear that I need to upgrade this. So I need to go and get Masori. So at some point, we are going to be making a stop over at Tombs of a Masket and trying to get some ranged upgrades to get the full power out of this weapon. Bro, I never had this on the collection log. <laughs> uh, I was just going here for an elite clue step, and uh, I thought, okay, I'm just going to spend the points I have here at Volcanic Mine to buy some teleports, so I can just teleport back. I bought these back in the day, I guess before the log came out. Uh, speaking of, I do want to do more Volcanic Mine at some point. Uh, I did way back. I uh, went for the... It should be under minigames. I went for the Ash Covered Tome for the Lunar Spell upgrade. I do want to go for the, the can at some point, but they did add the uh, Broken Dragon Pickaxe at some point with the Wilderness update. So I already have a Dragon Pick, but it is a collection log. I could maybe do like the solo method of Volcanic Mine or Teams or something. At some point, I'll work on that. After coming back to reality and realizing this is real life, went back to do some more raids, have some fun with my new toy, and of course, we got even more purples. Solomon with the Dragon Hunter crossbow, Astra with the Arcane, of course. My boy Sai with his first purple, the Ancestral Robe Top. Kind of crazy that we've seen three of those total so far as a team. And then immediately after, he got the Elder Maul as his second purple. So, interesting to say the least. And funnily enough, I did another Elite Clue and got the Mimic again. Boom. Oh, I got the Third Age Ring! <laughs> it's not like extremely rare, but that's sick, dude. What item should I go for? Druidic top. Yo, I'm gonna lure people in the wilderness now, dude. Easy money. Hey, I'm the most expensive item in RuneScape on the ground. That's cool. Shit, I almost missed it. That was my 400th Chambers of Zarek completion. Very, very nice. Um, Ever since I got the Tebow, I've still been running some Chambers with the boys. I've been seeing some good purples uh, of, from my friends, but I haven't gotten anything since, which is totally fine. I'm so far ahead at this point but i think it's been 45 raids since the bow so the next purple for me is probably soon it's most likely gonna be a prayer scroll but imagine though if it's one of these next uniques that would be uh kind of nuts i'm still enjoying this place like i mean mechanically team chambers specifically it has never been like super fun it's just it's a fun thing to do uh you know for a few hours with the friends just get to chill. Sometimes there's some good memes. But anyway, that last raid was insane. I got 27,700 points, and it wasn't even scaled. I just didn't make any mistakes throughout the raid, and my weapons just popped the hell off. So, like, that's kind of funny that in a team raid, I can get, like, bad solo points. Like, a bad solo would be 27,000, you know? So, feels good. Purple, what do we got? It's probably nothing important. Uh, Arcane, love to see it. Oh, yeah, I literally made a clip at 400, last raid, next purple's probably a prayer skull, I wasn't wrong. <laughs> that's funny. So our distribution is uh, four arcanes, two decks, that's great. Let's, uh, let's even it out, I want more dexes. <laughs> we really just got back-to-back -back arcane with the team, that is so funny. <laughs> uh, you know, you gotta get these arcanes out of the way for the real purples, it's just how it is. Let's fucking go, Snoot! Woo! You had the mo you had the earliest out of the entire friend group. Let's go. Take a quick detour from all the raiding. I uh, I was trying to do my favor today, like get it back up to 100% at the kingdom, which let's be real, I forget to do a lot. But it, she literally said, uh, "Your coffers are full," or whatever the f phrase was. So I think I literally have to collect before I can even continue getting more rewards. Like, the favor's not even going down. So, we're going to check the resource allocation. We're going to make sure, it, yep, we have it on 10 maple and 5 teak. That is the max amount of logs, uh, and therefore the max amount of the bird's nests. I, I mainly do this for the bird eggs. It just really helps for the collection log later on. So let's see what we get. I'm, I'm hoping, you know, it's a max one. So I'm kind of being generous here. If I get 20 eggs, I'll be very happy. Collect. Shattered my expectations. 28 eggs. Have you ever seen 200,000 maples from Kingdom before? Have you ever? Holy. 
That's so many. I have a good amount of like actual nests as well. That's a thousand brews. Damn. I literally just killed like 300 mole. <laughs> I am not going to show how many I have in the bank because I will leave that as a surprise. But let me tell you, it's a lot. Guys, I got a purple on stream. Let's go. It's probably a fucking prayer scroll. It's probably garbage, guys. It's probably arcane number 90. Oh, it's a dex. Okay. I was totally expecting an arcane. We'll take a dex. We'll take a dex. This basically is just straight up 40 mil death cost uh, that I will just go do right now. Just be so I don't forget. I think it's safe to keep one of each just in case for the off chance we might need another. I think that's fair. Um, so I'm actually going to drop all my extras on top of those two into the death cost right now and see what we get up to. What do you got for me? Yeah, we're up to 13 mil. Select all six mil from the arcanes. That's really nice. And the dex is about 40 mil. Like I said, you get a, you get what? 5% extra on top of the GE value. So that, that kind of works out. Nice. 60 mil in the coffer. And I'm pretty happy about that. Cause like, I like, I, I've, I'm sure I've mentioned it before on this series, but I like collecting duplicates. I think it's just really fun to like look at my gear tab later and see all these duplicates. I mean, come on. Eight Ferocious Gloves, I'm wearing them. So like seven BCPs, nine Ferocious Gloves, it gives me a giggle every single time I see this. So I don't really want to turn these in for death costs or drop trade them. I, I, I get more enjoyment having it in the gear tab. But I don't mind getting rid of the prayer scrolls. They're prayer scrolls. They're not in my gear tab. So I don't think I'll ever be super angry about a dex. It's more the arcane. I don't really care. And before I knew it, I had reached 429 KC, which I thought was a decent time to stop. And that means in this video alone, I did 234 runs in one video. Absolutely insane. No clue how many like total purples I saw or anything like that. But the big ticket items are right here. Ignoring the prayer scrolls, this was the progression in this video. The Ancestral Top, the Dragon Claws, and of course, the Twisted Bow. Just these three items at current prices, 1.6 billion GP. Absolutely nuts. Probably my luckiest video I've ever made. I, I don't think I'll ever be able to top this. Uh, I am very sorry for any Iron Man out there going dry on the TiVo. I apologize. I will repent for my sins. As for the common loot, this is roughly what I got. I'm not exactly sure if this is, like, accurate, but it seems about right. You do get a good assortment of loot. Lots of herbs. Decent runes. You name it. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate if you drop a like and leave a comment. Considering how long this one took, I mean, over 200 raids with scouting and all that, I mean, easily 100 to 150 hours. And it turns out a lot of you are not subscribed, so do that as well. And I, I promise you, you'll get a twist about in the next uh, million raids. I'd like to say thank you to all my channel members. You guys are awesome, helping me do what I do. If you haven't yet, go check out the live stream over on Twitch. I'm live all the time. Come over and say hi. Either way, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.